Daily Devotional with the Pastor José Manuel Sierra. My dear brother, good morning. May the Lord bless you. Greetings from the Ben Gurion Airport in Israel, a city very close to Tel Aviv, waiting for brothers and sisters that are coming from uh, from uh, all over the world. We have a group of people that are traveling with us and, and we are waiting other brothers and sisters and taking advantage of the time since we go to Ben Gurion from the airport to the hotel to be able to share today's devotional. We're gonna go to 2 Corinthians, the second letter that Paul writes, chapter three as of verse four and the word of the Lord says, and we have such trust through Christ toward God not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant, not of the letter, but of the spirit, but the letter, for the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Paul knew perfectly well that if he was an efficient person in the kingdom, a very used person in the kingdom of God, it was not because of his own merits, it was because essentially because of the power and the effectiveness of God uh, that God gives the people that uh, to the people that wants to serve him. Paul was coming back from Greece from a, 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 a small failure in the ministry. Well, he didn't, uh, he, he failed to establish a, a church because he was giving tremendously profound uh, messages. But when he come to Corinth, the word of God says that he intended to preach only Christ and him crucified. And it was then when he said that uh, famous phrase, so that your your faith will, is not founded on human wisdom, but on the power of God. So my dear brethren, something that we have to have very clear in our lives is that if we feel incapable and impotent, impotent and unworthy, it is when the power of God can be manifested in our lives. It is not for ourselves, or it is by the merits of Christ, by the presence of Christ in our lives and in our hearts, that we can carry out the work of God effectively and for his honor and glory. We're very, very grateful because we have seen how the Lord has helped us during these days and has kept us from all danger and all evil. And we're just coming out of the airport and that's why these little bumps that the van is making uh, and uh, we're taking us to the hotel. And during all these days, we're gonna emphasize that it is by the power of God and thanks by the power of Christ that we can truly feel that the Lord has loved us and, and has used us, and he's the one who opens doors. He, uh, Paul says that we no longer preach a dead letter, but it is the Spirit of God that dwells in us, that through us does the work. And for that, we're very grateful, because on all this time, all the people that have touched, blessed, and restored, et cetera, et cetera, have, and the Lord has done that, and all the glory and honor, like any other way, it is our gods. I repeat, my dear brethren, from Ben Gurion Airport, we're uh, going to the hotel where the rest of the brothers and sisters are. Uh, we're gonna present this day to the Lord. We're gonna pray this beautiful day, this magnificent day that the Lord is allowing us to carry forward. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see the journey that we're taking and that way you can be with us through this uh, trip to the Holy Land. Thank you, Lord, my lo my God, because you have helped us so far. We cry out to you, asking you to protect us and keep us that this group of brothers and sisters that are making a very big effort and have come to this land and to know the places that you have walked and you did the miracles and you share your word, that they will go out of here blessed and renewed. And we put our lives in your hands. I ask you in the name of Jesus that you will help us and that we have a day full of the presence of God and, and of your rich blessings. We say greetings to all the brethren and we say uh, greetings to, in the name of Jesus, my dear brethren, Shalom, Alehem, blessings to all of you. <laughs>